The highly anticipated FS Traffic add-on by Just Flight has been released for Microsoft Flight Sim on PC. In today's video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about this new AI Traffic add-on for Microsoft Flight Sim on PC. Shall we get right into it? Okay, so first off, what is it? Well, it is a payware AI traffic injector that adds, at the time of filming, 48 aircraft models slash variants with 700 plus 4K real-life liveries. Now, these are injected into your simulator based on real-life airline schedules and real-life airline flight plans. This is done as offline AI traffic and therefore it attempts to replicate commercial traffic patterns in real life. Whether that be regional operations at your local airport or transcontinental crossings. It comes in at a price of 26 UK pounds 99 pence which off the top of my head is around 31 US dollars and it's available exclusively off Just Flight. If you're watching this and you fly on Xbox do not fret although it hasn't been released for Xbox just yet which comes as no surprise sorry guys it is planned to be released on Xbox. Now on top of the ability to inject traffic based on real life schedules, there are also additional features such as the ability to use these models as part of Microsoft Flight Sim's own online traffic, so you know where it pulls in real life data and you can use FS Traffic's models there. You've also got the ability to add custom models and liveries, add your own airlines or add airlines that haven't been covered by FS traffic. And of course, you've got online network support for the likes of VATSIM, which means you can basically use the 48 aircraft models and 700 liveries in VATSIM via a VMR file. Well, what do I think? Well, first off, it's important to address the elephants in the room. We've already got three alternatives for real life AI traffic in Microsoft Flight Sim, whether that be FS LTL or AIG. Now Just Flight were pretty clever. Before release they released a 14 feature list listing off some of the features that make Just Flight's FS traffic stick out and of course they were targeting um, freeware alternatives as they are a business at the end of the day. Now in my opinion some of these Just Flight achieves some of them it doesn't, some of them it's a bit questionable. And you can read that 14 feature document via the link down below. Shall we get into the most impressive bit, kicking it off with aircraft models and liveries. They are exceptional, they are really good, the 4K liveries really do shine and the aircraft models are fantastic wherever you are in the world. Of course, it's more heavily weighted to your more standard airliners, whether that be your 737 or A320 family, but you have got some quirky ones in there. You've also got smaller regional jets as well, and some turboprop aircraft, so it's not all weighted to one side. Unlike some of the other freeware alternatives, there is a sublime standard across the board, no livery I've seen yet has looked ugly and every single model I've seen looks fantastic. Now numerically there are more models, aircraft models, than the freeware alternative of FS LTL at least at the moment. But I do believe Alpha India Group's AI traffic falls slightly ahead due to the large community contributions. However, as FS traffic also allows for community contributions, I'm sure this will change in the scheme of things. To be perfectly honest, 48 aircraft models is a pretty good start. We are missing corporate jets and general aviation, which may be a big thing to some people. Now that aside, let us talk about the actual system behind the injection of these models. As I've said, they're based off in real life flight plans and in real life schedules, meaning if you've got a bunch of Ryanair aircraft flying out of Stansted on a Friday morning, FS traffic will replicate this basically to an identical level and of course that can be tuned to any airport around the world with regular commercial scheduled traffic. But sadly, it still uses a Sobo's AI system for quite a bit of it, simply because a Sobo have locked 
the ability to edit the AI system. So while some parts of the AI system injecting the traffic has been tweaked, such as the t on the takeoff roll, you will still get some strange Asobo behaviour as Just Flight admittedly do list in their publicly accessible manual. Now, of course, that does mean, as I said, you're going to get strange behaviour uh, from really slow taxi to funny flight paths out of airports to aircraft taking forever to leave, although the last one doesn't happen as much because it's not relying off online data. It's all loaded into the system just by simple files. But on the bright side, as I'm sort of saying there, in real life, flight plans being loaded in to Microsoft Flight Sim does mean you don't need to rely off patching real life data streamed di directly from Flight Radar 24 or Microsoft Flight Sim server. Although some of you I know do prefer that, I personally did not as I found you're probably looking at 50% less traffic than in real life. So it does mean on the whole as part of this offline system you do get better coverage in a realistic manner but importantly it is not identical to real life or 100% identical to real life, I should say. As annoying as it is that it still uses a Sobo's AI traffic system, to be fair to the Just Flight team, they can't really do anything about it. So I'm afraid we've got to suck it up. For now, it is what it is. Hopefully in the future it will change, but that does mean if you don't like a Sobo's AI traffic system uh, to the point where you don't want to fly with it, then there is absolutely no point buying this at the moment. Just stick to whatever you use, and in that case it's probably going to be that sim, or you're flying without any form of traffic, because I do, I do completely understand sometimes it can be quite the immersion breaker when aircraft start spinning around in the middle of a taxiway. Talking about some smaller parts of the add-on installation, was relatively simple. There's two .exe files to install. Uh, most of you will be familiar with Just Flight's installers. Uh, very easy to do. The only thing I would say is, as far as I know, um, on my system there is some sort of add-on conflict. I think I'm going to point the finger at Ground Services X because it's the add-on I took out of my folder. And then Just Flight's FS traffic started to work without crashing my simulator. I believe there is a bit of a conflict there. It might just be my system. I'm sure many of you have got it working fine with Ground Service X. Now the software itself, as you can see on the screen, we're in Microsoft Flight Sim and we've got the InSim menu. Relatively small uh, user interface, but does what it says on the tin most of the time. It allows you to change the density of AI traffic, it allows you to reset injection, and it allows you to get rid of all the aircraft around you. Importantly, you'll notice at the top, there's also the ability to add your arrival airport. This is something I recommend you do as Glass Flight does in order to make sure you get AI traffic injected into your arrival airport. It is part of Glass Flight's optimization of this add-on that means you don't have to have aircraft spawning in all over the place. It does mean, however, uh, quite a nuanced point of view here. If you do decide to divert mid-flight, you will have to change it, otherwise you'll be greeted by a very lonely airport once you get on the ground. And, of course, there is the FS traffic control panel, basically, which is a separate bit of software, uh, sort of the HQ, I guess, for your FS traffic. This is where you can see schedules for airports you might fly into when our traffic's meant to be coming in. It is also where you'll be able to load in your own aircraft and your own liveries, all explained in the very thorough manual. Moving over to sounds, not great, I can't lie. Well, there is difference between turboprop and airliner, small jet and big jet, Microsoft Flight Simulator, limitations come into play here. The aircraft can either really be really um, basically no noise coming out of them at all, all the way up to 100% throttle. There isn't really a difference with the exception of landing and takeoff roll uh, where some sort of sound has been recorded into the point where it sounds quite nice but sadly sounds are nothing to shout about here. Speaking about more limitations, as a Sobo's AI system is still locked in place, you're going to get the weird floating planes if you go right up to them, at times you're going to get odd arrivals and departures at very steep and unrealistic uh, bank angles and pitch angles and you're also going to get the instant menu not working 100% of the time as most things in Microsoft Flight Sims toolbar do not. You know sometimes you can click for it to regenerate traffic 
and it simply won't. At that point, let's restart your simulator by heading into the main menu and back in. I've already spoken about additional features such as the ability to add more custom models and liveries and online network support, but I'll be completely honest with you, I haven't had enough time to delve into their features to the point where I feel confident speaking about my opinion of them to you guys. So shall we wrap it up with the final few points? A big thing is performance. Now once again I haven't really had enough time to completely test this but I've definitely got a good feel for it just looking at the FPS. It's very similar to FS LTL but in my opinion it's slightly more optimised. You definitely get less loading in stutters. I think that's part of Just Flight's optimization, which is why you have to add your arrival into the menu. It just means less planes have actually loaded into your simulator and although FSLTO definitely started going down this route when they adjusted the ratios of aircraft behind you, in front of you, above you or below you, I think Just Flight do a rather good job here which means FPS at least to me feels a bit more stable. I think we're getting very similar FPS averages but definitely less uh, big stutters now and then, loading in stutters but further tests are needed here. According to Just Flight, it is the same FPS as Microsoft Flight Sim's default AI traffic. I've seen as I never used that one, I'm not really in a position to tell you. Finally, wrapping up with pros and cons. First off, with some pros, it's much easier to set up than freeware alternatives. It is almost, and I say almost, plug and play. Download and install the 2.exe files. Follow the manual settings uh, just to make sure Microsoft Flight Sim settings are set up correctly. I won't say set one more time. And then you should be good to go as soon as you load in. Hopefully you'll see traffic and if not you'll just need to reset it on the external bit of software. But I haven't had that issue yet. And of course glorious models and liveries. They are really good. Uh, I think the best I've ever seen for any simulator. So they've got that. And of course well balanced worldwide coverage. We've got basically 50 aircraft and 700 liveries. Wherever you fly in the world you'll be seeing a very good standard of real life traffic. And finally, cons, it is too reliant on a Sobo's AI system to really stand out. Comparing it to the freeware alternatives, in my opinion, it is better, but it's nothing to jump out of your chair about. It's nothing to start going outside, running about, dancing, nothing like that. It is good in my opinion, but until they aren't so dependent on a Sobo's AI system where they can really start messing around with things for the better, it doesn't necessarily stand out just yet. That's not to say it's bad, it's definitely not, but it should be on your mind that this is payware and you're still paying for a system that is inherently based on a pretty poor system on a Sobo's behalf. And of course, with that, there is the odd bug to be expected. And I know some people have been having some issues. For me, it's been relatively seamless, apart from the add-on conflict, which I did find. But I know some people um, wouldn't have the patience that I had for that. Some people definitely would. All in all, I would say it is not a must-have at the moment. It is very good, but I'm sure FSLTL will suit many of you. The models with Just Flight's FS traffic are superior, and in my opinion, it's much more user-friendly, but I think this is a rather subjective experience. At the end of the day, it is completely up to you if you are willing to spend 27 quid on an add-on that looks really good but is still based on a Sobo's AI traffic system. I did and I enjoy it, admittedly. The models are stunning, the flight plans are well made and all airports are really, all, all commercial airports across the world I've tested so far are covered well. But as I said, it is not a must have. On that note, leave your thoughts down below. Have you tried out Just Flight's FS traffic? If you have, share your opinions, good or bad. Share your opinions on my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm always up for a civil debate. 
from me today though that is it thank you so much for watching of course i did buy this with my own money so your support is always very much appreciated thanks to all the new people that have subscribed to my channel lately and of course the veteran viewers that keep coming back your support is much appreciated on that note i'll see you around be sure to like comment and subscribe and go to pilotstud.co.uk to read more about my channel flight simulation and aviation as a whole i'll see you around guys bye bye